Okay, guys, here we are. I'm going to do a 2.0. It's we're, we're just going to review over arithmetic sequences again, okay? Because I know it's been like three weeks since you've done math. Uh, instead of jumping in the deep end, let's kind of stray into the shallow end. There's my dad joke of the day. I hope you enjoy. I made it relevant to today. And here we go. Okay, so... To start this out now what I've done is a uh, if you look at the worksheet I gave you I am just gonna do some of the problems from that worksheet and that'll be what this uh, what this session is so you can uh, copy these down so you got some of the answers already Okay, let me get my pen out okay so this one is find the first four terms in the sequence okay now on all of these we're not gonna do any of that n equals zero anymore I'm just gonna stick to n equals 1. We're always going to start with n equals 1. Okay, and just do everything like that. And uh, so at the beginning of all of these, n equals 1 will be your first sequence. Okay, and uh, you just plug in 1. So let's, let's plug in 1. We get 1 squared here, and I can do it over here or something. 1 squared over 2 times 1 plus 1. That would give us 1 over 3. Okay, so the first term in the sequence would be one-third. And if you want to title these, that would be A1. Okay, so we can do A2 would be 2 squared over 2 times 2 plus 1. That'll be 4 over 5. Okay, so A2 is 4 over 5. A3, you plug in 3, so we get 3 squared over 2 times 3 plus 1. That would give me 9 over that would be 6, 7. So it would be 9 over 7. Okay, we only got one more to do because it's the first four terms. A sub 4 would be, so we got 4 squared over 2 times 4 plus 1. That would give me 16 over 8, 9, 9. 16 over 9. Okay, there we go. So you're going to do that for each one of those first four. And uh, that'll just find the first four uh, series. And I'd like you to label it like this, A1, A2, A3, A4, just to uh, make sure that you're getting the idea of how you find each uh, term in the sequence, okay? So the next one, find each arithmetic sequence. For, for each arithmetic sequence, find the term named in the problem, so A32, uh, the explicit formula, now remember the explicit formula is the formula where you just plug in n and it gives you the answer. Just like these. These are explicit formulas. Yeah? And it says and the recursive formula. Remember the recursive formula means that you gotta have some formula where you have to know the prior number in the, the prior term in order to figure out the, the next term. So I guess let's just start with the first one here. Now these are all gonna be arithmetic, which means they change by a common difference every time like they add or subtract a, 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 the same number every time. In this case, it looks like they subtract 7 on each one of these, yeah? Now, I know they put find the term name in the problem first, but that's actually what I'm probably going to do last. I don't know why they would write that first, because I would first want to know the explicit formula before I go about finding a certain term, okay? So I'm going to do the explicit formula first. Okay, so the explicit formula. Now it's going to be a sub n, because that means to find any term in the sequence. Yeah, whatever term you want, you'd put in for n. In this case, at some point, we're going to want to plug in 32. Okay, so it's going to be some difference here, and I'll write over here. So it's going to be some difference, yeah, um, uh, times some number, the, the n, whatever term you're looking for, plus or minus whatever it is the first term, okay? This is how you're gonna do all of them. If you wanna flip these around, you can. I think it, it's more common to write the first term first than do the difference. Okay, so first thing I need to do is uh, know the first term. So the first term in this case is negative three. So my explicit formula is gonna start with negative three, okay? And then it's gonna be my common difference. So in this case, it'll be plus a negative seven. I'll just write it as minus seven. And then it's gonna be times n. Now, here's the thing. Remember I said we're starting at n equals 1 on all of them. That'll tell you the first one. If you plug in 1 here, you would get negative 3 minus 7 times 1 
which would give you negative 3 minus 7, which is negative 10. That would actually find the second term, right? So to fix that, just whenever you put an n, just put it in parentheses and put minus 1. Yeah? And now when I plug in 1, I would get negative 3 because this would make it 0. It'd cancel this whole first thing out, and it just leave me with negative 3 as my first term. So since I got my explicit, it's now pretty easy to solve for the 32nd term. Okay, so a32 would be negative 3 minus 7 times 32 minus 1. Okay, that would be negative 3 minus 7 times 31. And I don't know what that is off the top of my head. Let me use my calculator, and I'll get you an answer. So negative 3 minus 7 times 31. That would be negative 220. So that is my... 32nd term, okay? And so now I have found the 32nd term. I have found the, oh, I have found the explicit formula. Okay, and now I need to find the recursive formula. Recursive formula, okay. So in order to do this, you, uh, you start out with a to the n equals Okay, because it's whatever term you're trying to find. And uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need the previous term. Yeah? Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. Um, uh, I hope that I'm still on the pen. I think I am. Okay, so it's a sub n. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start with the previous term. So we're going to do a sub n minus 1. No, I'm not on the pen. Yeah, there it is. Okay, a sub n minus 1. Because that's going to be the previous term. And then you're just going to add it to the common difference. So it'll just be minus 7 in this case, since our common difference is negative 7. And there it is. Okay, that's your recursive formula. If you don't see why that would work, let's plug... And oh, you know what? I'm sorry. you got to also tell it the, f the first term in here. There's no way... You have to start with the first term. And our first term was negative 3. Okay, so if you're not understanding why this is the recursive... Okay... Let's just find the second term real quick and uh, see how it works. So the second term would be a sub 2, right? It would be equal to a sub 2 minus 1, so 1, so a sub 1 minus 7. Well, a sub 1 was given to us, which is negative 3. So it would be a sub 2 is equal to negative 3 minus 7, which is negative 10, which is the second term, yeah? And if you wanted to find, like, let's say the third term, a sub 3, well, you would need the second term because it's be a sub 2 minus 7. So we did figure out the second term. The a sub 2 is negative 10. Negative 10 minus 7 would give you negative, third, negative 17. Yeah. So that's how you find a recursive. You got to have the, uh, it's just going to be like the setup for it would be a to the n equals a to the n minus 1 plus the common difference. Okay. And that's how you do it. Very easy. Uh, you're going to do the other three just like that, okay? And I got a few more here. We'll just do two more examples, then we'll be done, okay? So let me bring up my cap, my pen for this one. Okay, given a term in the arithmetic sequence and the common difference, find the 52nd term and the explicit formula. Okay, so they give us the 32nd term and the difference here. So if I want to set up the explicit formula, remember, you're going to want to find the explicit formula before you go about trying to find the 52nd term. I don't know why they write that first. But the explicit formula, so remember the explicit formula is a sub n equals, now remember you need your first term and this can be plus the difference times n minus one, right? That's how, that's the formula you're gonna be using. Okay, so a sub one equals, I need the first term. They gave me the 32nd term, okay? But it's not going to be hard to find the first term. It's going to be easy. Every one of them has a difference of 20. So like if I wanted to find the 31st term, I'd subtract 20, right? If I want to find the 30th term, I'd subtract 20. What we want to do is subtract 20 32 times so we get to the first term. So let's just do this. Let's do 20 times, they told us the 32nd term, so let's do 32. And that tells us that... Uh, the difference between there, let's see what this is, 20 times 32 is 640. So if you want to find the first term, you just do 622 minus 640, 
and it'll give us the answer, which is 622 minus 640 is going to give us a negative 18, right? Yeah, negative 18. So that's our first term. Our A1 is negative 18. Oh, here, I'll write that over here. Okay, and then plus the common difference, which in this case was 20 times n minus 1. Okay, there's our explicit formula. It's done. Now we want the 52nd term, so you just plug it in. So A52 is equal to negative 18 plus 20 times 52 minus 1, so it'll be 51. And if you plug all that in, negative 18 plus 20 times 51 gives us 1002. And that is the 52nd term. There we go. Okay, given the two terms in the arithmetic sequence, remember, you're going to do that on all three of those, okay? Let's go to number 17 now. Given two terms in the arithmetic sequence, find the explicit formula. Okay, so remember, same formula. It'll be our a to the n equals the first term plus the difference times n minus 1. Okay, that'll, that'll make sure that we're doing n minus 1 because that'll make sure we start at n equals 1 as being the first term. Okay, so... Uh, we have uh, two terms and 116, 130. It looks like they're separated by a difference of uh, 14 terms, right? Well, let's see how much they changed by and then divide by the 14 terms we have and then we'll have the difference. Yeah, so 203 minus 105 will give us uh, 98 right? And they're separated by 14 terms that are all the same amount of difference. So 98 divided by 14 is going to give us 7. So our common difference is 7. It goes, if you wanted to get to 203, you could add 7, add 7, add 7, add 7, add 7, 14 times until you got to 203, right? So that's what goes right here. It's going to be plus 7 in minus 1. Okay, and all we need to do now is find our first term, and we are done with this one. Okay, so our first term is just going to be, uh, let's do this. We, we have the 16th term, so let's do the common difference, 7 times 16 minus 105. So, you know, there's other ways to do this too. Here, I'm going to do it two ways, okay? Okay. So if you see this one, you'd say, okay, well, there's been 16 terms. We want to get all the way to A1. So it changes by 15, 16, right? No, 15, right? So 16 minus 1 being the uh, 15 that it changes by. And we want to find the first term. So we do 105, or let's do 15 times 7 and see how much it would go down doing that. So 15 times 7 is 105. So it looks like to go uh, to go down 15 terms, you would have to subtract 7 15 times, right? And that would be 105. So we do 105 minus 105, which gives us a, a first term of 0. Okay. Uh, another way of doing that is you could have done a 1, uh, I'm sorry, a16 is equal to a1 plus 7 in minus 1. That's me just using this formula right here, right? a16 is 105 equals a1 plus 7 times n minus 1. I'm not liking this. I was thinking this was going to go easier. This does not look easier. I'm actually going to have two unknowns. Scratch this off. We don't want to do that. Uh, just go with the method I was doing here, okay? Um, so there is my my uh, formula right there for that one. So just to go over what I did, since I, I feel like I might have confused a couple people here, we can do another one real quick. Look at how much this changes by. So 38 minus 17. So how many terms did we have between there? 38 minus 17 is 21 terms. See how much it changed from here to here. So negative 200 minus negative 95. So it changed by negative 105. 
So it changed by 105 in 21 terms. So let's see how much it was changing by a common difference for each one of those. So it was changing by negative 5. So it was going down 5 every time uh, from here to get to, to uh, negative 200. So that's our common difference, right? That's what goes right here. So now we got a n equals, we still got to find the first term, minus 5 and minus 1. To find that first term, all we're going to do is, okay, well, we want to find a1. It changes 16 terms to get there, right? So let's do negative 5 times 16. And that will give us 80. So it changed by 80 to get to a1. So negative 95 minus negative 80, so basically plus 80, would give us a negative 15. So that's what our first term was, a negative 15. Okay, that, I know that looks like it equals. Okay, there you go, negative 15 minus 5 and minus 1, and that would be the explicit term for number 18. Okay, so you just need to do those other two terms, those other number 19 and 20. Guys, the answers are also on there, uh, on the bottom, so you can see them. Uh, good luck.